Okay, what's up everyone? I am The Ambitious Artist and today we are going to be doing a really cool mannequin painting here. Well, a painting on a mannequin as you just seen in the beginning there. And if you don't know what that mannequin painting is for and you don't know what's going on in the world right now, let me just show you a little bit of this. So I have decided to do what I can with my art here to help support the Black Lives Matter movement. So I am going to be working on this mannequin right here. Night Fury doesn't like what's going on anyways. He thinks all black things matter. Say hi. Hi everyone, subscribe to my video. Okay, I have to stop getting so distracted by my kitties. So yes, this is the mannequin that we are going to be painting on today. So unlike my other mannequin paintings, what I have decided to do this time is do a base coat first with some gesso. And the reason why I decided to do that is because with the acrylic paint on this kind of surface, it was picking and peeling off really easily. Like if I just nicked it or bumped it on something, it would sometimes nick the paint off and I was not very happy with that. So. I've decided to use some gesso here. It's just basic gesso from Liquitex. Yeah, let's get started with that. Go. kind of terrible because I've never used gesso before. It got all over my hands and I kind of put a little bit too much on this mannequin. But that's just the first layer and I will do one more layer then I'll get back to you all. And then we can start doing the black paint there and then the awesome design for the back. So let's just get the second layer done and I'll get back to you. Bam. All right, so it's actually the next day here. I did three coats of gesso on this mannequin here. So it's uh, pretty good. I'm gonna sand it a bit. So I think that with the three layers of gesso on here, it covered up fairly well. I just wish that I would have picked up some sandpaper so I can sand this thing. But unfortunately, I didn't do that. So we can still paint this all black. Wait, this mannequin's going from white to black. That's interesting. Anyways, so. Let's get this started and let's start painting this mannequin black. I've been pushing away everybody I love. I don't know what to do. Need a sign from above. I just want to be somebody who knows. Knows how to behave, but I'm not even close. Won't you save, 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 save me? Won't you save, 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 save me? I am out here alone, cause there's nobody left. Someone to talk to Get this pain on my chest All the bad things I've done And the people I've hurt Wanna take that part of me And leave it in the dirt Won't you 
the white gesso so it is only fair that I do two more layers of this black to make sure it's all equal because that's what everyone in this world deserves is equality okay so let me get right back to you after I've done two more layers and then you can see the outcome of that okay well I've now done all three layers on here and I'm just gonna let it dry because it seems to be taking a little while to dry. And before I go ahead and do the iconic fist there, I want to let all you know how much that symbol really means to me. So I have right here the symbol that I'm going to be doing on the back of the mannequin. And instead of having love written in the knuckles there, I have decided to do hashtag BLM, Black Lives Matter. So I think that I'm gonna be putting that right up on the back there and I'm hoping that it's gonna turn out really good. I'm gonna quickly sketch it out as soon as all this is dry. So I will see you all the next day. Mm. Ah, he's calling. Hello? Yes, I'll be right down. Ah, my package arrived. What are you doing out there? Come in here. I need to show you what I got. All right, so I was definitely waiting for this package and I'm so happy it came in. So I don't know how you all open up your packages, but if you're not doing it with a pen or a pencil, you are not doing it the artistic way. I'm just joking, okay. So I'm super excited that this here display motorized table turner, I think it is, or uh, I'll leave a link to it down below if you're ever interested in this, I forgot what it's called. Essentially, it's where you put a product on and it turns it 360 and I will be showing you all at the very end why I got that and why I'm so tired this morning. Oh, you wait, you wait for it. It's gonna be awesome and it's gonna tie this whole piece together. So we now have this 100% dry and it is looking awesome. So it is time to do the back part. But first, I gotta get changed. So one, two, whoo, that was awesome. Okay, so without further ado, let's carry on and start sketching the back design of this and let's go. Okay, so I'm really happy with how that turned out. It's turning out really good. Now it's just time to paint it. I have a bit of a dilemma. I do want it to be gold, but I'm debating if I want to, first of all, use this yellow and then use this nice gold base. I use this for a lot of my miniature paintings and it is a very nice gold. 
The reason why I'm thinking to do this as a base coat, this yellow, is because I think that this might be a little bit more vibrant on top of that instead of the black. But this might turn out just as good if I just put on the black too. So I'm debating about it. So let's just stop and get on with it. Okay, let's go. It is now another day. So I have let this dry 100% and now it is time to put some red. This is actually a really nice deep red here that I'm using. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what are you gonna be using the red for? And I will show you right now. If I'm the bad one, take a look at yourself. now done one gloss layer on this so far so it is time to do two more gloss layers but hey you already know what it looks like right here but you don't know what it's gonna look like at the end so let me continue on with glazing this a little bit more and doing another two layers of gloss on here and then I'll come right back to you when it's all done and dry so far this thing has taken about five days to fully finish. So why don't we just go right to the final end of this video right now. Let's go, fast forward, bam! So it is now the next day and I am so excited to show you all this. Guess what? I made what I'm about to show you out of this. Just some plain styrofoam board that I got from the dollar store. So I went ahead and decided to make this big 
kind of box square thing here. Take a look at it, and it is all made out of that foam cork board with this turntable on there. So basically, the mannequin is gonna sit on top of there and turn nice and slow, and I'm gonna get some great shots. But wait one second, before I do show you the end results here, I want to let you all know that for the rest of this month of June, I will be donating all the proceeds that I make from all of my art through an organization called Secure Act Blue. Now, if you don't know what Secure Act Blue is, it's a website where you can split up your donations into multiple different areas like bail funds and mutual aid funds. And I personally think it's a really good website to donate to. So that's what I will be doing with all the proceeds that I do make from all of my art. And this piece here is going for a really good deal. So let's reveal it. Okay, go! So what do you guys think about that? It's awesome and I think it displays the mannequin so well. I'm super excited to use it on my other mannequins there too. Okay, well we are all done here. And hey, if you are interested in this piece of artwork or any other artwork and would like to support this cause, please contact me on my other social media and you can find that right here. The place you message me for any of my artwork will be on my Instagram account right there. And if you're interested in any other updates that I am going to be doing with my artwork, you can check out my Snapchat and TikTok here. <laughs> That's just been, you know, a lot of fun. And if you wouldn't mind, please give this video a like because it's gonna help grow my channel and I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, if you have not already, that is. Thank you everyone for staying to the end. And hey, if you're gonna miss me, check out my other videos right here. And remember, click there. Stay safe and respectful of all humanity. And remember, stay ambitious. Okay, till next time, see you later.